far as the quality of the work, which was also a concern of our friends and family, um, it's exactly what I'm used to at home. You know, the first time I actually smiled at myself in a selfie with her, um, and it, it brought a tear to my eye. It was, it was, it was very emotional for me. Um, I won't go too far off. I will cry. I get you. I, mean, I get you. <laughs> yes, you are saving money, but yes, you are getting your work done in four to five days instead of I don't know how many weeks or months. Right. And we're not going to stop working until actually yesterday we brought somebody in, the owner of the lab, to come and customize something on your mouth. So yeah. he didn't send an employee. Right. He came himself and he himself worked on your mouth. Right. And so that was the other big reason that we came here. We didn't want to wait and have temporaries. You know, why spend more money to get less? I guess with service is how I felt about it. Hello, welcome back to Supreme Dental Podcast Studio. You can be anywhere else in the world right now, but you're here with us and we appreciate that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My wife and I are the owners of Supreme Dental Clinic. Remember, this podcast is meant for you, the patients. And today we have Mrs. Heather and Mr. David Murphy. How are you yep. guys doing? Good. How are you doing? Not too bad. How doing good. I, uh, I want to get to know you guys a little bit more. You know, I, I want uh, people to hear your guys' story because I know you guys have a story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and it's, it's going to be fun. So tell us a little bit about you guys. Well, um, we're from the Woodlands, Texas, and um, we've needed dental work done for quite a while. Um, we owned a business for 12 years, and we really couldn't come down here during that time just because we needed to be close to the business. And so we sold the business in July, and that's when we started, you know, planning our trip to come down here. Um, we... Uh, I guess we've been married for 27 years and that's, that's awesome. Um, that's really about it, I guess. <laughs> so part of the planning was researching where to go. Um, we first were like, let's go to Cancun, have a vacation, you know, and kind of just, you know, make it, make a thing of it. Um, for sure. And um, the more we researched, the more we, we dove into it, the uh, more we decided to pull away from that. Um, uh, there's just some issues. Some there were some recent safety issues that popped up um, that uh, we decided to, to to shy away from from the Cancun trip. And to be honest, the pricing was much more affordable here. Um, really? Yeah. I think I got a bid for about eight thousand dollars more, and it was going to take. They said take twelve days. I've been here. We got here on Monday, or I'm sorry, we got here on Sunday, uh, but because of the storm that we had um, from the hurricane. We had to uh, push our initial con uh, consult to Tuesday, and I was done, or really done two days ago. Uh, Heather had some extra stuff to be done, so it took her a little longer, but um, we, we got in and out in record time, so I feel like. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I tell our patients, we can't compete with Cancun when it comes to beauty. No. We don't have oceans here. We have like a dried up river and there's a lot of vendors. That's about it. But uh, work wise, we are a lot faster. And because we are, this is the number one place in Algodonas that tourism, dental tourism in Mexico. Uh, and it's uh, through Guinness World Records, the most dental clinics per square inch anywhere in the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we get a lot more patients here. So yet we have a lot more practice with patients and practice makes perfection obviously yeah. we have many specialists people with a master's degree i think your doctor was dr dulce mm -hmm. and your doctor was dr joel mm -hmm. and uh, and and that's what that's what i tell patients um but tell me a little bit more about what 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 were you guys looking for when you guys came down obviously it was dental work but did you guys something in particular you guys were looking to get what did you guys get done well, I needed, I thought I needed more than what I actually needed. Um, well, I'll, I'll make sure that um, <laughs> we ask more questions before we start next time. <laughs> so, no, I, I needed um, um, some, some uh, root, a root canal and some, and we wanted our, basically a, a smile makeover. Okay. Um, we, me and Heather both weren't happy with our smile. Um, I haven't really shown my teeth in a, in a photo in, on purpose <laughs> in, in probably uh 10 12 plus years wow. um so um you know the first time i actually smiled at myself in a selfie with her um and it, it brought a tear to my eye it was it was it was very emotional for me um 
I won't go too far off. I will cry. I get you. I'm, I get you. <laughs> yeah, I was going to tell you to stop because I'm about to cry. <laughs> I'll let her take over because she's, yeah. she's, she's better than well, me. Well, I've been having dental work done since I was five years old. Um, my mom actually took tetracycline when she was pregnant with me and didn't mm. know it. And it caused me to not have enamel on my teeth. And so I've, I, at 15, I had a smile makeover because that was permanent because my mouth was finished growing. And, um, so I had still, I'm 46 years old. So my dental work was 31 years old Mm. and it was, you know, breaking and messing up and the dentists at home are just so expensive. And for years we couldn't afford it. Um, and then when it came to the point that we could afford it, it was like, why am I going to go give them all my money when I can, you know, support the, the dentists in Mexico and save money and get it really quickly because I ended up with four root canals and a mouthful of crowns, which was my choice. I didn't have to have a mouthful of crowns, but I just decided that's what I wanted to do. And um, I got it in four days and at home, one crown one time took three weeks. And so that was the other big reason that we came here. We didn't want to wait and have temporaries. You know, why spend more money to get less? I guess with service is how I felt about it. Our recent episode that we just um, aired just this past Wednesday uh, talks about how we get a lot of patients that come in and say, well, I'm going to Mexico. I know I'm going to save money. Uh, I know the work won't be as good, but I, that's what I can afford. And I'm like, no, <laughs> that, that, that's not how we want to be seen. And yes, we are cheaper. Yes. Uh, but also the lifestyle here is cheaper and also to go to school here is cheaper and everything else is cheaper in the United States is pretty crazy, yeah. especially now. Um, but I don't want you to see it as well. You know, I really wanted the Bentley, but I'll get stuck with the Hyundai, you know, because mm-hmm. then even from point A to point B, that's not how it should be. Right. And when they get down here, that's why we go through. I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, we try to make it as Americanized as possible. So we have mm-hmm. like eight international accreditations, which is all of them from the United States. None of them are from Mexico. We have from Mexico, but we don't even put them up because nobody, <laughs> nobody comes that cares. Nobody says, oh, you're part of the Asociación Mexicana. And they're, nobody, you know, yeah. Yeah. they want to know if we're part of the ADA. Right. They want to know what is the AACD, the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry. You know, oh, so they're pretty good in cosmetic. They want to know those things. Mm-hmm. Um, they want to talk about warranties. You know, you guys are coming from, where are you guys coming from again? The Woodlands, Texas. The it's Woodlands, by Houston. Texas. Oh, you guys are close to, Okay. And it's, I mean, you can't, I mean, you could drive here, but it's a long drive. Yeah. So you got to go somewhere that you actually put your trust. I mean, because what right. if something would break next week? It's not like you can be coming back every, every Wednesday, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So we give lifetime warranty for the same reason, but I mean, I'm not trying to make this a commercial, but, <laughs> but, uh, but that's what we do to make everybody feel safe here. Uh, our doctors are going to numerous trainings, mm-hmm. um, you guys seen parts of the podcast where you guys are probably waiting, but there's something going to be developed called Supreme TV. So while you're waiting, you're you're actually seeing everything that we're doing. Um, so that's 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 something that we want everybody to feel at, at ease that, yes, you are saving money, but yes, you are getting your work done in four to five days instead of I don't know how many weeks or months. Right. And we're not going to stop working until actually yesterday we brought somebody in, the owner of the lab to come and customize something on your mouth. So he didn't send an employee. He came himself and he himself worked on your mouth to make it look as best as possible. Yeah, and we talked about that. I was on the way home. I was like, you know, if this would have been at home, they would have sent those crowns to the lab. They would have come back not right. They would have sent them back. How many times would they have had to go back and forth and back and forth? And I was really impressed that the owner of the lab came in and, literally worked on my crowns while they were in my mouth i mean I, i've just never had that happen i didn't know that was a possibility but i'm super ecstatic about it because now i get to catch my flight this afternoon <laughs> that's awesome and, and and also the owner of the clinic which is myself <laughs> uh, i was also there and they called me and they say hey you know what what can we do so i was asking dr dulce i was looking at what i was thinking and i said well bring the guy from the lab bring the owner of the lab and then all three of us are going to decide <laughs> about the bite. We're going to decide about how it looks. We're going to decide about all those things. Because, I mean, obviously, six eyes are better than two. Right. So we just ha- we wanted to make sure that we did what's right for you. And, obviously, we really appreciate people that come from other places. I don't know if I would fly to China to get something done. 
But if I would go to China, I would want I would want them to speak English. Yeah. yeah. Cuz yeah. I I mean in my in my in, in my is he understanding what I'm saying? Am I understanding what he's saying? Mm-hmm. Like I'm going to get a whole bunch of work. Is he going to pull them out? Like I don't know. Right. So and there's been no language barrier. It's ve- then no. that's very important. And, and our and our doctors obviously they're from Mexico. Mhm. But they actually go to English classes for the same reason because they want for you guys to understand them. And then mm-hmm. you guys really want to understand them also. It's right. not like, oh, well, you didn't say that right, so I don't want to listen to you. Like, it's your mouth, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And going back on uh, when we got teary eye, um, <laughs> it's um, patience. People sometimes don't realize how important it is to smile. We yeah. don't. We don't. Someone that smiles. Let's say I smile and George right there doesn't smile because he's not smiling right now. <laughs> but um, he, he's just like, you're like, why isn't he smiling? Is he mad? Mm-hmm. You know, people start questioning, is he mad? Because in pictures, you're just like, where? <laughs> and right. I, I get that a lot. Yeah. Are you mad? Are you, why aren't you, are you not happy? And people that know you, sometimes you don't get that. But from people that don't know you as much, you do. And then they start thinking of like, oh, maybe he's just that type of person, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's it, and it's not that. It's just that you, you I mean, you, you're wired of I don't want to smile because I don't want to show mm-hmm. what I don't like, and that's it. And now that you can smile, it's gonna be weird, yeah. <laughs> because you're gonna be you're, you're not gonna stop like smiling. You're gonna smile and then you're gonna be like, oh man, and then you're gonna keep on smiling. And then so many people are gonna notice you, yeah, because you're gonna be like, what'd you get done? Because automatically it's completely mm-hmm. different mm-hmm. than the way that you normally would react we we had um uh, another patient here at the podcast and he said he didn't smile too recently we we're going through his facebook and i could pinpoint exactly after he got the work done because that's the first smiling wow. picture he has wow. he's just like this <laughs> <laughs> at a wedding <laughs> and 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 he said you know it took him a couple months to be able to smile because he's like i really didn't even know how he's like i'll be like i'm, I'm that's where i'm at you know yeah. he goes i really don't know how to smile but but now i know i can smile mm-hmm and that's um, so you guys kind of did like a instead of a getting a massage you guys decided to just get your whole mouth redone yeah, yeah. that's awesome we should get more people like that that's the new end guys you guys need to come in and get some dental work welcome to dental facts did you know implants require the same oral hygiene as the rest of your teeth you heard it first at supreme dental podcast floss brush and keep smiling but so tell me about and this is something that we spoke about a little bit before we started the podcast. Security, guys, because mm-hmm. a lot of patients, a lot of patients are scared of coming to Mexico. Now, Algodonas is probably, I know it is the safest border there is because it closes. So a lot of borders remain open. Mm-hmm. Now, it's not the prettiest because it's like a beach city with no beach. Like, <laughs> tell you the truth. I could see like quads going around, but there's no beach. And uh, there's a lot of, if you're going to get hit by people, they're going to be hitting you with trying to sell you like the necklace or, or sunglasses, it's sunglasses <laughs> or, or a Mexican Rolex or something <laughs> right. like that, you know, but they're, they're, they're not, uh, I always tell people, did you guys ever get bothered by a cartel? Did no. You guys, did you guys <laughs> yeah, no, no, never had any kind of, um, no, ne- never into any safety no, um, concerns at all. I probably bought more sunglasses than I should just because I was like, let me help these people out. And I always lose my sunglasses. So it doesn't hurt. I think I bought like six pair, but, you yeah. know, <laughs> no, you guys going to be styling in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, no, I mean, they're very, um, they're respectful. You know, they're, they're just trying to make money like, like the rest of us. And they're very respectful. We had no issues. If you tell them, no, thank you. They're like, okay. I mean, it, it got to, in fact, this morning when we were coming in, the guy goes, is this your last day? Cause he just knew, you know, we kind of had that camaraderie. Um, with some of them where, you know, we'd make jokes when I had my temporaries on, I'm showing them, you know, you know, <laughs> so stuff like that. But no, I mean, safety wise, we feel very, very safe. And we've been here, we had heard, don't be there after dark. Well, we've been here after dark almost every day. No problem. That's I mean, they roll up the sidewalks here at five o'clock. Yeah. The, it, you know, <laughs> and all you can find in the streets is going to be hot dogs and tacos. And yeah. It depends what day, because sometimes <laughs> the hot dog guy doesn't show up. Um <laughs> Yeah, when you so, told me about not coming in the dark, I kind of felt like the I Am Legend movie, like, you know, when the dark right. stars, all the zombies come out and stuff. Right. Well, that's no. how, you know. Um, the horror stories you hear. Everybody yeah, and, and all of our friends and family were terrified for us to come. My mother was like, I can't believe you're doing this. And, you know, our friends are like, text me every day when you get home. So I make sure that you crossed over back into the United States because we're staying in the United States. Yeah. 
And finally, I just quit texting her. I'm like, we're going to be fine. Like, it's really not necessary, you know, to text every single day. But yeah, I mean, I even didn't wear my wedding band. Tell me about that, because that's, <laughs> that, that's, that's something that we we're talking about before we jumped on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, this is, this is my Amazon ring, my silicone Amazon wedding ring. And I actually have a very lovely wedding ring at home in my jewelry box that uh, we just didn't think it would be safe for me to wear because, you know, just... The diamond's a little large, and we were just afraid, you know, and my Louis Vuitton handbag is at home, and I have my little $15 Amazon clutch that I've been carrying, <laughs> but I would Try, have been... Trying to keep a low profile. I trying to keep it. a low profile. In it. fact, when we rented our car, we normally rent, you know, a nicer SUV like a BMW or a Mercedes. We, I was like, let's just do a Toyota Camry, <laughs> and on the way in today, he's like, next time, we're getting the good car. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, do you have a 96 Camry I can rent? <laughs> we didn't know. Yeah. And it's so far from what we were told that it would be like. We we would be fine in any car, you know, and with my ring and my handbag, you know, none of that would be an issue. But, um, you know, we'll know next time when we come back in six months to get our crowns on our implants. <laughs> you know, and, and that's what I love about patients that come down, you know, not just here, but anywhere. When they come, when they come down, you guys actually understand what it's all about. It's not what comes out in Fox News, CNN, or wherever you guys are, are seeing this. You know, your friends, Facebook, Facebook. <laughs> yes. my, my dad believes, and shout out to my dad. My dad believes everything comes out on Facebook, and I'm like, Dad, don't. It's not true. He's like, I seen it on Facebook, and I said, I, I know, okay, no mind. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but then you guys come down, and then you guys tell. You know, word of mouth is the biggest marketing, right? You guys, you guys go back home, and then now everybody uh, now knows the story of, hey, well, well it, it, the town is kind of crappy. I mean, there's really nothing to do, but it's clean, mm -hmm. and it's safe, and then that's it's our friendly, second. Friendly, very friendly. Very, and the second portion is, and now my work is amazing. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. you know? and that's the key part is right. like getting, your, getting good work done. Um, border agents are even nice, you know, um, on both sides. I was kind of shocked we you know you i've had dealings with border agents in the past and they haven't always been so friendly uh, but these guys have been been pretty good to deal yeah. with yeah yeah everything's so. been great and the i mean the way that my smile looks you know and i don't know if we want to talk about my mouth and how messed up it is <laughs> you do whatever you want to do but um, my jaw is crooked and i mean y'all made my smile look as straight as possible with what you had i mean you did the best that you could do with what you had to work with you know, without me going, you know, under the knife and breaking my jaw and resetting it. And I'm not going to do that, you know. So we kind of did an optical illusion where it doesn't look crooked anymore. And I'm happy. I mean, I'm I'm ecstatic. Yeah, you the, know? the number one thing is for your bite to be everything hitting. Mm -hmm. And the second portion would be aesthetics. And by doing a little optical illusion, like I said, we all had to work at it. <laughs> yeah, We're all looking from different <laughs> sides. You look at your husband and, and, and he'd be like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> And 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 and, uh, and then we, I could see what you were talking about, and everybody could see it, but we didn't want to hurt the main purpose of your smile. Exactly. But I think we were able to do it, and, yeah. and that's that's amazing. It yeah. really is. That's really awesome. Is. What what do you guys tell patients out there that are scared of coming down? What do you tell them? I Talk would, to them. I would say that it's totally safe. I mean, you should be as on guard as you are in any safe city in America. Um, I wouldn't be concerned about that. As far as the quality of the work, which was also a concern of our friends and family, um, it's exactly what I'm used to at home. It's no different. In fact, the customer service is way better. Um, dental clinics, in my experience, have always been a little stiff, a little snotty. This is nothing like that. Um, the customer service is amazing. Dr. Dulce actually made sure that she numbed my mouth. I'm really hard to numb. I have that redhead gene or whatever you call it, <laughs> um, even though I'm not redheaded. But it takes a long time for the Novocaine to kick in for me, and it takes extra. And her main concern was that I was not in pain. And so for the first time in my 46 years, I didn't feel pain while I was getting my dental work done. In fact, I just laid there. I wasn't tense. I was, I'm normally tense and I'm hanging on, you know, I wasn't tense. I was just relaxed, had my AirPods in, kicked back, listening to music. In fact, on the first day, I felt really bad. I kept falling asleep and that's never happened to me in a dental chair. Wow. So I would say 
this is where I will come from now on. You know, unless it's an emergency situation Definitely. and I have to go home, I will come back here because I've never been treated this good at a, den- if, at a dental office and had, I feel like, better quality and, you know, getting it the same day or, you know, within a few days, that's never happened. So. And, and to piggyback up on to uh, what Heather said, um, my experience at the dental, dental office has been uh, a lot of judgment, a lot of, um, you know, you should have been doing this or you should have been doing that um, to prevent this and that or whatever. Just, um, I'm not sure if uh, other people have had that experience, but um, I have and uh, did not feel anything like that. Um, Dr. Joel was extremely uh, good for me. He, he made sure I was comfortable. I've got a pinched nerve in my neck, um, which is flared up. And uh, he even let me get in positions to where that was more comfortable for me. For, and he had to work. And I think that. the dental assistant rubbed your arm for a minute because it was hurting really she, bad. She did. I got, I, got, I got a nice little massage on my elbow, um, uh, which I appreciate that. We'll but, make sure um, we add that to the bill. <laughs> <laughs> Man. No. Um, Keep it coming. <laughs> <laughs> but they were. They were really concerned, yeah. you know, for our comfort and, and, and to make sure we were comfortable the whole time. And I think another thing I wanted to say because of that judgment, he thought he needed a lot more dental work done than he needed. And at home, he kept telling me, I just want to get all my teeth pulled and I want to do the all on four. And I kept telling him, no, I really don't think your teeth are that bad. And because of what he had been told by Dennis at home, he's like, no, they're bad. I've got to get them out. I want them out. I want all on four. And I'm, I'm freaking out, you know, and he gets here and they're like, you don't need all on four. (laughs) You you don't know how many patients we get. That come in and say, you know, they told me I needed an all on four or I just want to pull everything out and no longer ever have a problem. Now, it doesn't mm-hmm. work that way. If your kitchen needs you need to redo your kitchen, you don't just break that part of your house. If you could save it, you remodel it. Mm-hmm. And and your your roots, which is the core, which is your foundation, is strong. We can change everything else. Mm-hmm. And your smile, they would not look nowhere near that good with an all on four. I'll tell you that much. Right. You and know? he did. He ended up when when Dr. Joel first he gave him the first estimate. It was conservative, and we looked over it and decided we wanted to do a full mouth of crowns because he didn't even have that on there, which means it wasn't necessary correct but we decided that that's what we wanted to do for both of us even though we didn't have to well that's just what we wanted yeah that's amazing yeah Yeah. (laughs) can't say how 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 happy and i've never had a dentist at home be conservative (laughs) (laughs) yeah i've I've got i've got an estimate on my email i pulled up uh to look at and um it was i had um I, i needed three three implants three extractions three crowns and um, it was nineteen thousand dollars back home for for three was for that three. just three teeth or three that's it yeah nineteen thousand dollars so well, I mean yeah that's yeah. I mean that's insane well <laughs> no I definitely got to talk about uh, to the team about being conservative then uh, <laughs> I'm getting a lot of pointers I'm getting a lot of pointers guys this is, this I'm is sorry what about. this yeah. might not even this might not even air. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, uh, that's awesome. No, well, I want to thank you guys so much for, for choosing to come into Supreme. My wife and I, we started this clinic 15 years ago, uh, when we were 21 and we started with two dental chairs and now we have a total of 15 and our team. I feel that our dentists, there's dentists that are made dentists and there's dentists that are born dentists. And we consider our dentists to be born dentists. We interview so much when we pick someone new to our team and they're under like, let's say probation for like a month or two before they can get on any big work Mm. because we want them to be human. We don't Mm -hmm. want them to be a machine. Mm -hmm. We want them to care when something hurts. We want them to give you that hug because they connect Mm -hmm. with you guys. We want them to be happy about the life they just changed. Now, okay, well, send me George over, you know, and uh, that's hard to get. And uh, but so far we have accomplished it here. Yeah. And thank you so much for coming from where, where are you guys flying into? Where are you guys flying out of? We Phoenix? have to fly out of Phoenix. Um, next time, uh, probably do San Diego. I didn't realize that it's almost the same distance. Oh, I think San Diego is beautiful. It's a little and, closer. And it's prettier, and, it's and I think a little easier to and get cooler to. cooler, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wish I would have done that. Yeah. No, San, Di- San Diego is awesome. San so. Diego is actually where I normally fly out of. Okay. Um, next year, we'll be going to big, big trainings also. So by next year, when you guys come down, uh, if you guys decide to come down next year, whenever you guys, uh, you guys, actually, we have a six month follow up. Okay. Six yeah. month follow up. You guys could actually, after here, you guys can go to San Diego and spend some time over because yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. There. Yeah. And Vegas is not that far from here neither. Yeah. 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 We're, so, so yeah, Vegas we, is dangerous. It is pretty dangerous. <laughs> and, and going back to the, going back to the security, 
you can go anywhere in the world and if you are looking for bad things you're gonna find them right yeah. and if you if you go to la la is amazing but there's places that are like oh, i don't know if i want to go down the street yeah. mm-hmm. in chicago and different uh we've been um we've been to new york the same thing mm-hmm. uh and, oh, yeah. and you know what's crazy is that you you're wearing uh that wedding <laughs> ring that's amazing um <laughs> But she's got an Apple Watch on that calls. Yeah, a lot. I don't know. I was thinking. I was thinking about. I don't. I don't know how that would work. But I almost didn't bring it, and he's like, "No, your Apple Watch is fine." And I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> whatever." So. But I, I, I do when I travel somewhere else too. I do the same thing. Yeah. Like I, I I'm like I don't want to get people's attention um, that are gonna come negative. One time yeah. we had a patient that came in who got a lot of work done, like a lot of work done. Him and his wife, and he brought all his money in. So. He came in, and he had a teddy bear. And I was like, I don't, I'd never seen that before. But I'm okay, cool. He's older, and I'm okay. And he wouldn't let go of the teddy bear. And and then he was, you know, he got his work done. And when he was about to pay, he gives us the teddy bear. And he goes, open it up, and all his money was inside the oh teddy bear. Oh my goodness! And I go, the teddy bear. He goes, nobody was gonna steal a teddy bear. <laughs> oh my goodness! And I was like, here I am thinking that you're crazy, <laughs> and you are a genius. That's pretty smart. Yeah, That's you could take away your wallet. He's yeah. like, I don't even, I don't even carry my credit cards. He said. Well, we've just heard, you know, that if you wear those things or whatever, and you look like you may have any money at all, then the cartel's gonna take you for ransom, and then your family has to pay to get you back. Literally, that's what we've been told. So where do you guys get Apple Watch for free then? <laughs> I want one. <laughs> but, uh, well, thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank yep. you so much for taking the time. I know you guys are about to hit the road right now. Uh, we want to say we appreciate you guys. And uh, keep on smiling. You guys are our biggest billboards out there. Yeah. Uh, you keep on smiling and keep on being you guys. Man. We yeah. really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. And we appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yeah, we really do. And this guy has been, he's been here I think you've been here every day. I've been here almost. Yeah. It, uh, it, you're it always does. working. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a, so, I need to get paid overtime by my wife. Um, <laughs> but we'll talk about that later. I haven't seen her. So. Yeah. It's, <laughs> you better stop it. <laughs> but, uh, well, thank you so much. And this has been Supreme Nano Podcast, uh, sponsored by Supreme Nano Clinic. And see you next time. Thank you.